Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about reprints and why they are so important. And recently, Conspiracy 2 has just hit it out of the park. There's a ton of reprints I, just, I was not expecting to be in the set. And it seems like every color has one very iconic reprint, maybe two. And the most important reprint as I made in a previous video was Visions, mainly because it's an $8 common and that just feels bad when you have to pay that much money for a common you need four of. Reprints are really important to the play style or to making sure that players have cards available to them. And I understand people want to make rogue decks, I understand people will play um, budget decks and that's great and I think that should be supported. But you should also have the option of playing good, you know, the tier one decks, the most expensive decks. And with reprints, that makes it a lot easier to do. The secondary market is the secondary market. It acts, and I've already ranted multiple times on it, it acts and behaves as an unrestricted market. So you have people, um, and it's not people, it's stores. So for whatever a single person can do, a store can do that times 100, times 200, times 500. Because not only do they have the assets, they are in the marketplace. So they have the accessibility to spike a price or to dump a card. And that's been shown time and time again. I think the most famous example is Star City Games with the Zendikar fetch lands. Um, they went ahead and they bought every single fetch land. At the time it was you know, 10 to $15. And by the time the buyout was over, Macy Rainforest was a $45 card within a few days. Uh, the same can happen with Dual Land, the same can happen with any reserve list card essentially. Uh, and by saying, hey, we're going to reprint. Even in Magic Online, as you see uh, flashback drafts, a Misty Rainforest in Magic Online right now is $15 to $20. So why is there such a big gap between its online price and its real it's card price it's physical card price it's because of reprints it's all because of reprints and even showing that you're willing to reprint cards like visions like um, exploration they did in conspiracy one um, all these cards that are suspect to be reprinted and then showing that they will actually reprint them reduces the marketplace reduces the secondary market's ability or uh, want to hoard or buy cards in large quantities and store them. Uh, Birds of Paradise got a reprint. I know one of my subscribers said that he owns like 200 of them. Uh, hopefully he owns them because he loves them and he is viewing this as an opportunity to collect more and not because he wanted to make a lot of money because that's not the way you go about it. Uh, Magic is no longer, MTG Finance, I would just say it's pretty much dead. Um, it's dead because of reprints. And all of those other, I know people will say reserve list, reserve list, reserve list. Yeah, that makes sense to me, but at the same time, you have to find a buyer conditions or... Have you ever sold, if you've ever sold a reserve list card, it is, especially online, it is a lot more difficult than selling a single, like a card that the person's going to play with it. Because then they'll check the conditioning, they'll check, you know, um, if it's real or fake, that's a big issue. It's a less of an issue of standard cards, and I will just go out and say I've never seen a fake with the stamp, you know, with their stamp, and that's why I'm collecting, you know, cards with stamps on them, the little hollow foil, because I don't. There's no reason for them to make fake cards. They could, if they wanted to, but that would just take way more effort to do. And why would they do that when Moat is a thousand dollars? Why would they make like a five dollar standard Filia, not even like a four dollar Filia? and have to go through way more work to do so when they can just make a moat for like probably one tenth the work and you know like a thousand times the uh, profitability. So I like it. I love reprints. I love that it's controlling the secondary market and I think it's very important moving to the future. Not only because it reduces the prices when the reprint happens, but it prevents people from buying too much of one card because uh, it punishes them. So like show and tell, um, at this time show and tell is not confirmed. I don't know if it is or not, uh, but something, I'll take a better example, Inquisition of Kozilak. That card was used to be $20 and you know it's still an expensive card, but now it's gonna be reduced in price. Visions used to be an $8 card, but now it's gonna be reduced in price. And all those people um, who invested in this kind of scheme 
they're all going to be punished now and that's amazing right and that's going to prevent them in the future from really investing in one card <laughs> anyway bye guys